Comrades, in the last two weeks, the whole argument, if it's ever put, there's not enough money in society for the things we need, has simply melted away. Because how can it be that there's still going to be 25,000 older people die of the cold and the effects of cold this winter because they've nationalised the debts of the banks, but they leave the profits of the utility companies with those utility companies, allow them to jack up the bills and cut off people's heating at a time when they desperately need it. How can it be? that they allow millions of people to die of AIDS across sub-Saharan Africa for the want of £20 billion when there's hundreds of billions of pounds when they need it to prop up their system. All of that is melting away. And we have to have a big argument for socialism, but something more than that. We also have to make sure that we become the ambassadors of resistance inside the system. And what we have to work out is how we can raise the flag of resistance inside Britain at the moment, because there are very many people who agree with us about this. We need to offer them focuses that they can cohere around so that we can fight back. So that the People Before Profit Charter meeting next week is an opportunity to get the people in this room, but more people than this room together as well, to help talk about how we can organise to fight back in a coherent fashion with a programme against the effects of the economic crisis, to pull people together inside the Socialist Workers' Party, but wider than the Socialist Workers' Party, to make sure that we are going to put forward resistance against their system. Something more than that. It's very important that the strikes that have already begun get the full support and that the potential strikes are carried forward at the moment. We know there are 600,000 people in Britain at the moment balloting for strikes over pay. The fact that the economic crisis has happened doesn't make those post-pay strikes less important, it makes them more important. Because if 600,000 people go on strike, that will become a focus for everybody in Britain who wants to see our side fight back against the capitalist crisis. And we have to make sure that those ballots are won, and we have to make sure that the pressure is kept on the trade union leaders. If they can organise a general strike in Belgium this week, why can't the TUC call a general strike as well so that our class can fight back? But also we have to say, we have to make it very, very concrete. Every redundancy to be fought against, every repossession, every attempt to make our class pay for it has to be fought. We need the meetings like the Charter meeting, but also it will make a difference if people on their television screens see a resistance outside the Stock Exchange on Friday. Friday is the beginning. All of us have to go away from here. We're going to make Friday the day of the start of the resistance. We're going to go to the picket lines in the morning, stand with the bus workers, stand with workers' resistance, and we will be there with three other people outside the Bank of England. Each of us with three other people outside the Bank of England at four o'clock to make sure that on Friday the resistance begins. Thank you.